Hey YouTubers, it's Monday afternoon, but a little after three, and it's 90 in here, and uh, bumper is down, it's on the bench, and I already started wet sanding, I don't know, you can't, I mean, gray's gray, this is feeling pretty good, but, so, I'm just taking my time, thought I had some 800, I didn't, I didn't want to run to the store, so we're lightly doing it with 600. So, I got top roughly to about here. So then we'll flip her around and then I'll start that side and get that side done. Then I'll take a break and we'll flip it over and get the bottom side. So, I knew I said I was going to let it go for a couple of days, but uh, I just, I want to get this done and move on. So when I get more, I'll uh, turn this back on later. Alright, the entire outside has been wet sanded. And so now we'll do the inside. Inside is, doesn't have to be as good, just scuff it up a little. So we'll do the inside. And then we'll walk around the outside one more time. Yeah, like there's an area right in here. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah. So. But uh, let's see, tomorrow, Tuesday, won't be able to paint. Got stuff, other stuff already lined up. But Wednesday, we can put color and clear on this. So I'm going to have to start digging out down in here and getting the paint out and everything else and decide which clear I want to use. So, when I get more, I'll turn this back on later. Hey, good morning, tubers. It's Wednesday, what, July 29th? And that's the time I've been out here for a while. And that's the temp. Uh, pulled out this old uh, Matrix universal clear coat. I think that's what I'm going to use. Uh, Roger, Fireman 164, told me about this stuff and he used it. It looked pretty good. So we'll use this on the bumper. I think I got enough. That's the hardener and then there's the clear coat down there. Uh, bumper is sanded inside and out. Okay, there are a few little areas like right in here. Then I'm going to have to come back and I'll hand sand like right in there. So that's what we'll do today is we're going over this and picking up the little areas that I missed. Oh yeah, right in there. The definitely in there needs to be sanded. It's you can feel the roughness. And uh, <clears throat> then we'll hang it back up. We'll clean off the bench again, and we will get the. Uh, been set up for painting. I have to change out guns. This gun will be is clear coat and color base clear gun and that's my primer gun so we'll change those out and uh, tomorrow morning we will get up early and we will do this again. We should uh, be painted and back to normal roughly around 10 or 11 o'clock in the garage here so so that's all I got for now when I get more I'll turn this back on later all right all done sanding went around it twice with the 600 we just finished cleaning it with the glass cleaner I will wipe it off maybe once or twice more before we put color on it and uh, now we're gonna I'm going to try by myself to sit there and test fit it on to make sure that I don't have anything misaligned or anything before we get it into color. And then uh, once that's done, then we'll uh, hang it up and get ready for tomorrow morning. When I have more, I'll come back later. Gray looks kind of cool. So, more in a minute. Hey, good evening, tubers. Uh, got it hanging back up. 
<clears throat> it has been wet sanded. It has been thoroughly clean, but now already I could feel a layer of dust on it in here, right here. Yeah. Oh, let's see if I can see, get that. Let's, let's see. Yeah. So, tomorrow we're all set up to paint. Clear coats there. Uh, base and reducers there. Uh, wax and grease remover. So, going to get up early, get the Camaro out of here. We'll blow this thing off and we'll wipe it. Hit, hit it with the tack rag and then we'll put down three good solid coats of uh, base on it before we clear it. And I think three to four on clear will go too. So, so we'll see what tomorrow brings. Everybody have a good evening. And uh, we'll see what, again, like I said, we'll see what tomorrow brings. Later. Morning, tubers. It's Thursday morning. And uh, that's the time. Been up since around quarter after six. Uh, really can't start making noise until seven. So... But the air compressor's on. We're going to pull this out, get the garage blown out, get the water hose in here, and get ready to lay some color down on that. So, yeah. We'll see how it comes out. So, we got to dust it off. We got to blow it off. Uh, wipe it down. So, so we're all set. So let me get this out of here and uh, get moving on. More in a minute. Later. All right, the garage has been blown off. The bumper's been blown off and uh, wiped down. So, yeah. So we wet down the floor. And uh, let's get the color out and start stirring that up. Uh, won't tack rag it until we get ready to shoot. And uh, we'll be ready for that until Nancy pulls up. And then we close the garage a little bit. Oh, I gotta get the fan down. So, a few other things I gotta do. And uh, when I get more, I'll turn this back on later. Mixing the color now. And according to the data sheet, so I did seven ounces of uh, Pro Base, and I'll do four, almost five ounces of uh, Pro Base Pro Base reducer or that reducer, and uh, we'll stir it up, get it in the gun. We'll get spraying once we wet down the floor again. More in a minute. First cut. Third coat's on. <clears throat> In the process of cleaning the gun. So, next up, clear. First coat of clear. And you can't see much with the light. Yeah. So, alright, more in a minute. Hey, tubers. Clears on three coats. Three good coats. There's some dirt in it. But, all in all, I'm happy with it. So, 
when uh, this dries a little bit more, I'll do a little bit better videoing. But you can't move nothing, can't do anything until this sets up. Because if not, you'll get a whole bunch of dirt and dust in it. And it's still tacky. So. So. I did it. Let's see. Started at 6.30. Two hours. Okay. And I still got to clean up. But we beat it through the heat. Today's supposed to be 112. And if you get it in the morning, you can do it in the 80s. So. All done. A little smuts right there. A little smuts right there. And right there. And you can't see the backside because of the bright light of the garage door, so. <clears throat> Think we'll let it hang here for about a week. And then we'll cut and buff it, and then we'll put it on the car. So, and speaking of that, can we back the car in? Uh, it's, not, it's not that tacky. It's still, we'll give it another little bit. So, I'm happy with it. So... definitely like that clear. I like that matrix clear better better than any clear I've shot. I don't know. So, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get the car in here in a minute or two. And then I'm going to uh, I'll load this up. But, uh, yeah. It's camera probably doesn't do it justice but it looks good believe me so uh, like I said it's I'm probably gonna let this dry a little more then bring the car in and then I'll go ahead and I'll load this up uh, live show tomorrow at 2 30 Vegas time oh gotta run not a bad one but just a little one okay so where was I? Oh, okay. I'm going to let this dry for a little bit. And then, uh, God, I'm babbling. I'm going to let it dry for a little bit. And then I'm going to get the car back in here. And then I'll go ahead and load this up. I want to thank everybody for watching subscribing. And, of course, leaving comments. And you're going to ask yourself what's next for the Camaro. Well, I'm trying to figure that out, too. Because finances are tight. Still saving for the window package. Can't buy any seals. Ah. Maybe we'll do the rear spoiler. We gotta paint that yet. So maybe the rear spoiler. And get that installed and get that painted and cleared. I'm gonna have to go to the paint store and get some more clear though. Uh, I like that matrix. Might even try switching brands of matrix paint, but then again I don't know if I do that, it whether it'll all match again. See, here I am babbling on, but I got enough paint left to sit there and paint the paint the spoiler, I know that. So, again, thanks guys for watching, commenting, and uh, of course subscribing. And uh, we'll see you on the live show tomorrow, 2.30. Later.